Minister of Fisheries and Oceans to say a few words. Thank you. Well, good afternoon to everyone. Um, I'm not going to go through all the invited guests that are here, but I just want to welcome everyone to Salute to the Sockeye. And I also want to say a special thank you to a lady named Blair, who's the probably the only adult in the crowd that's shorter than I am, and she allowed me to use her step stool so I could see over the podium. So thank you very much, Blair. I'm really excited to be back in British Columbia and particularly to be here uh, at the Adams River Run. It's uh, something that I wanted to do for a number of years and so I'm really, really excited uh, to be here to take part in this Salute to the Sockeye event. I also want to acknowledge, if I might, the presence uh, and the hard work of uh, my colleague Colin Mays, uh, the MP for Okanagan Shoe Swap and as you know uh, Colin has announced he's going to retire after, in a year's time and uh, I just want to let you know that since his uh, election in 2006 he's worked really really hard uh, on your behalf uh, his constituents and always had uh, British Columbia issues come to the forefront in Ottawa so uh, please give him a big round of applause. And of course, I want to recognize uh, one of my other colleagues as well, and that's Senator Nancy Green Rain. Uh, Nancy has done a lot of work uh, in the area of uh, to develop tourism in this region, and we know that, of course, salmon is certainly a very important component of the tourism industry. Uh, Nancy is also a member of the Fisheries and Oceans Senate Committee, so she certainly keeps her ears to the ground on everything about uh, BC salmon, and I can tell you for sure that I hear about them. Uh, so she does a really good job on your behalf as well. Now, I've heard that this festival has happened in this area every fourth year since 1978 and it attracts uh, quite a number of visitors, uh, including international tourists. So uh, I'm very honored to share the stage today with representatives of, of the Little Shuswap Lake Indian Band uh, with the province of British Columbia, the Adams River Society, and of course the Pacific Salmon Foundation. Uh, I grew up in a small fishing community on Prince Edward Island and that's where I still live on the other side of the country uh, and have fished from the local wharf, uh, watched the boats coming and going and of course seen our brooks uh, thick with uh, smelt in the springtime. Uh, but, and I know that none can compare uh, to the way that this river is going to be teeming with fish in the days ahead. Uh, the total expected run, of course, this year is, is to be close, expected to be close to 20 million uh, fish, which will make it a very bountiful year for all sectors, including First Nations, the recreational, commercial fishers as well. Uh, but 3.5 million of those fish are expected to return uh, to the Adams River, so there's going to be lots of excitement and activity here over the next few weeks. And I have to say, um, where better to view uh, this amazing spectacle uh, of all these he salmon heading upstream to spawn than from what I understand is a very new state-of-the-art built platform uh, with support from uh, the salmon conservation stamp uh, through the Salmon Foundation. And we're going to be heading over there for a closer look in a few minutes. But I just want to say that our government is very pleased to partner in the development of projects to accommodate the growing number of visitors uh, to this festival particularly the new viewing platform, but there's a number of other upgrades that have taken place as well. Um, the $105,000 contribution under the Pacific uh, Stamp Fund supported all of these objectives, and uh, the proceeds from this salmon stamp have been the foundation of funding efforts in British Columbia for uh, 25 years now, and it's a great way uh, to give back to British Columbia opportunities and support the salmon resource. Uh, the strength of the stocks this year, of course, is a testament to management of this important resource as well as close partnerships that uh, DFO has with uh, the Government of British Columbia, with Native organizations, and with groups like the Adams River Society and the Pacific Salmon Foundation. Um, and I can just tell you from our department's uh, view, conservation is the number one priority. And the conservation objectives for local salmon fisheries are established every year through the annual integrated fisheries management planning process. That's a long process, 
which involves all sectors, First Nations, environmental organizations, and uh, you know we end up having to make some very tough fishery management decisions every year. But the rewards of these decisions are evident when a salmon when salmon stocks such as uh, this run return at this level of abundance. So I want to thank all that are that take the time uh, to take part in this process so we can make good decisions. We know that salmon are a very integral part of uh, BC Coast's uh, ecosystem. And I just want to share with you some stats. And did you know that the Government of Canada invests $65 million annually in measures related to Pacific salmon? Not a lot of people uh, know that, but we invest in science and hatcheries and in education. So I just want to thank all the groups that are present here today for their efforts uh, in launching and participating projects and education programs that support salmon conservation and sustainable aquatic ecosystems. You're to be saluted uh, for all that you do because I know that a lot of you are volunteers. You give your time and effort for something that you passionately believe in. And just before I wrap up, I just want to say that there's a long list of sponsors uh, for this year's event. And you look at these, these sponsors are businesses that are right in your communities. So it's always a good idea to try and patronize those businesses uh, when you have a chance to, so they can keep on supporting um, uh, good projects uh, like this one. So a uh, big thank you to the organizers. I know that putting on something like this takes a tremendous amount of work. Uh, you're to be congratulated and we're very grateful. The sun is out today. So enjoy the festival. Thank you. Before um, uh, 